Chinny Chin Jin's favorite tuna treats. Here's the recipe. Write it down. Hi guys, I thought I would practice my doing my self-videoing by showing you how I make my tuna dog treats. I'm always thinking about my dog's health and um, all the training I do. I don't like to give them a lot of extra not good things for dogs. So um, what I like to make them the most, it's kind of a kryptonite for training, is tuna treats. And so I have it pre-mixed now already. I put it in here and all I have in here is five cans of tuna. They're this size. Um, 170 grams and I also have five eggs in there and there was roughly two cups of flour this is a new flour that I tried that I've never tried before gluten-free whole oat flour it was very expensive that we got it's a hundred percent Canadian oats um, so it was different than the other I usually use whole wheat flour and this one is very powdery so anyways that's what I have in there eggs tuna I put about a heaping, at least a heaping teaspoon of turmeric in there. And um, I did, had, you can use the juice from the tuna. I actually didn't, so I probably could have put more maybe. But anyways, it turned out good. I had, I drained all five cans and did not put the juice in there. But you can leave the juice in for extra, extra, um, especially if it's packed in water, the tuna, it's actually can, is good, okay to leave them. And I also have my pans ready. I don't know how well that looks in the light, but I have put margarine, a layer of margarine around them, and then I sprinkle the flour so that the flour, I think that looks a little better, whoops, so the flour sticks to the margarine and makes a nice edge that my tuna loaf will not stick to. And then when I put this in here in my pan, I have to use something to flatten it down, and I usually use a spatula like this. And I have to put it in there, and I have to use flour. So I take a big chunk of it, and I put it in this pan, and I have to flatten it out. And sometimes, if it's sticky, I use flour to make it so I, to make it spread out nicely. So I use the two pans, and I put that in the oven, and. I'm just putting the flour on top to help make it not so sticky and it's easier to spread. And my dogs love it. I'm gonna put it in the oven and bake it at about 325 to 350 for I watch it to see when it's done. If the edges start getting darker, looking a little browner, then it's usually done. You can feel it and it's like kind of like a bread. So I will um, show you what it looks like when it's done. It's finished cooking. And let it cool. I'm cutting up the tuna. I cut up the big pieces into smaller, more manageable pieces. They're cooling quite a bit. They, I don't want them to cool too much because they will dry out. Um, I try and handle it as soon as I can to get it cut up and put into bags. And I put it into a bag and try and keep some of the moisture in there because I don't want them to dry out. Um, and then I freeze them freeze them without squishing them and you can have the wonderful tuna treats that the dogs will love. They are awesome. My dogs think they're fantastic. They're squishy. They're soft. And they thaw really fast. So I put them in here and then I take out what I need and it's usually thawed very quickly. Um, you know, I don't mind. They don't even mind them if they're a little bit frozen. So I just finish cutting these up like that, cutting them up, and they're wonderful treats. And my dogs, it's like kryptonite. <laughs> I'm tired from all that cutting. Look how much I got out of that. 
big bag of tuna treats. So now I will be able to take out just what I need. I'm gonna put this in the freezer, lie it flat to let it freeze, suck all the air out as much as I can, and I'll be able to take out little bits and feed my dogs those for treats when I'm doing training with them. Like this. They like to do stuff and they like this. Okay, ready? Come here. Everybody sit. Nice. Uh-oh, we got another one. Okay, sit. Good job. There's Jenny. That's my pack. They all love tuna treats. Right, Jen? <laughs> Good job, guys. My tuna treat fans. Go for it. Make some. <laughs>